Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines. This week we're over at Google Headquarters in Mountain View for the annual Google I.O. conference. Now we took a little tour of the campus, which is rather an incredibly beautiful campus. It's got lots of environmental features, just some really amazing things that Google has put together here, some incredible architecture, just really interesting things. And of course, this campus feels incredibly Googly to say the least. That means there's not just crazy stuff here, but it's really beautiful too, and there's a lot of really impressive environmental projects going on. So some of the weird things we saw here are gonna be stuff like shark fin sticking out of the ground, which is rather interesting. There's actually a volleyball court in the middle of all the headquarters buildings and lots of seating and all kinds of stuff like that around the place. We found a T-Rex hanging out here and of course dug up alongside him is a little ancient android that seems like it's been here for a very, very long time. But we've been looking for those android statues and had kind of a hard time finding them. So the marshmallow one was the easiest one to find. That's right up here in the front near the Google logo. But the other ones were a little more difficult. And we found that the Google Visitor Center beta, yes, that's actually a real thing, is where the other android statues move to. But along the way, we were a little distracted by this DeLorean, which is pretty sweet to say the least. And of course, some other interesting android statues that you might not have seen before, like this crazy little android pinwheel statue with a cool little pinwheel hat, a nice little seating area and stuff over there. And then of course that infamous android chrome statue when we thought that android and uh, chrome might be merging. Finally though, we found all the statues which seem to be kind of haphazardly placed in the middle of this courtyard here. There's plenty of people taking a look at them, trying to get some nice shots of them. Of course they're all interesting, but there are a couple missing ones here. Like we said earlier, that marshmallow statue has been moved, and oddly enough there's no Android N statue which we expected to be here at this point. These statues are rather large though, and they are really incredible to see, but we decided we would take a bike ride over to the amphitheater where Google I.O. is being held this year. This is actually going to be the first year that Google is going to be holding I.O. on its overall campus. Now, the campus that we showed you is just a small headquarters complex. There's acres and acres of campus hanging alongside that building as well. Once we got to our destination, though, we were pretty excited to find some I.O. signage and some other stuff along the way that led us to exactly what we wanted to go to. The walk down the sunny path towards the Shoreline Amphitheater was certainly a little bit of a brutal walk. And of course, lots of these buildings are roped off for the time being until Google I.O. officially starts tomorrow. But we were able to sign in and get our little swag bag of cool stuff. And of course, check out some of the areas that Google is going to be holding all these events at. That's going to be in a couple of different buildings located just south of the Shoreline Amphitheater. Needless to say, Google had plenty of little statues and other Android-related paraphernalia here, which tells us that this conference is definitely going to be heavily focused on Android. What else are we going to find out at this year's I.O.? Well, you just have to stay tuned for the rest of the week and find out. But for now, we expect some pretty big things here, including some VR and other Project Tango-related things. So stay tuned with us throughout the rest of the week. Thanks for watching, and until next time.